is day two of the 2023 budget debate by members of parliament. And you will recall that before the budget presentation on the 24th of this month, some majority MPs had indicated that they will not take part in the budget presentation and debate. If the finance minister was the one to do so, they wanted him to resign or the president sack him for what they called mismanagement of the economy by Keno Ferrata. After meetings with the president and subsequently the party executives, that matter was resolved a bit. So, one would have thought that those disgruntled MPs would not take part in the debate. But that is not the case. Andy Apia Kubi was a spokesperson for the group and he took his turn to debate the budget on Wednesday. Mr. Speaker, when we have taken advantage of the internal markets uh, within the country and the uh, markets as created outside the country, then we can see the import and effects of the 1D1F program. And this is what he had to say after his debate. We are only just respecting the roadmap as agreed between our good selves and the president. So once we have accepted his request to see through the budget, which we have done, we expect the president to also return. Are you disappointed that the finance minister is not present here in the chamber? I'm not disappointed because I didn't even expect him. But I expected the president's budget to come. MP for Elembele, Emmanuel Amakofibwa, in his submission argued the 2023 budget will weaken the manufacturing sector, but MP for Tema West, Carlos Ahinkra, disagreed. We are told that a total of 296 one district, one factory projects are at various stages of development, and that 126 factories are operational. We are not specifically told the name of the factories or the districts where these factories are located. Mr. Speaker, so I ask the question, members of parliament, does anybody who has a, a one district, one factory in your district, please raise your hand. To date, we have spent over one billion on import duty exemptions, on capital goods and raw materials to participate in 1D1F companies. What import substitution victory have you won with all these billions that we've pumped into the one district, one factory? Today, as I speak to you, Mr. Speaker, we have close to 300 factories under the Apifuadu government. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Speaker, out of these 296 or so factories, about 126 of them are operational. 143 are in various stages of operation or construction, and 43 are pipeline projects. The One District, One Factory program has absorbed more than 160,000 people. Yes. So let me ask you, if there was no One District, One Factory, how could 160,000 people be employed in, out of the uh, 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 employable uh, 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 brackets in Ghana? Yeah, this is a contain in the budget.